Hello there. A little bit of a tip video for you. This time you see my face because, you know, I had upgraded my webcam. So I want to share with you today how to create a fake tweet that you can share over on social media. Now, first things first, let's start a screen share. So this is where we go. We go to tweetgen.com. And this is literally what you see. It is free. I don't know how, how long it will be free for, you know, as, as with all things in life, not everything is free all the time. So this is what you will see. Your tweet, you can create a reply. So this is your tweet. This is your reply that's going, that you can create. And then there's a block. So you'll be notified that someone has blocked you or you can create a fake one or whatever. And then account suspension as well. But we are going to look at Tweet Generator over here. So simply just click on right click, um, new tab, open a new tab, and that's what comes up. So everything within the dashed border, see the dashed border thingy is edit editable. And you'll have a whole host of things that you can do over there. But before we go down there, the background color. Yes, your tweet can be light, which is what it is. It can be dim, which is pretty dark still, or it can be dark, as in black. Then you've got your chip, Twitter chip, chirp font, the system font, and another font. And if you want to use emojis, Twitter emojis, or the system emojis itself, it's entirely up to you. So then everything, as we said, within the dashed border is editable. Now you can create a completely fake thing or something that you want to share from yourself that you don't want to take a, screen share, a screenshot with and that sort of thing. So you know what? It's entirely up to you. Your photograph, your name, your um, Twitter handle, the tweet itself, as you as you're typing, it says there to you how many characters you've got. So you've got 280 characters, and then you can simply just do anything in there. The date and time that you've got over here, it gives you an opportunity to pick your own date and time or to use the current system date and time. That's the date and time where you are currently finding yourself that your laptop or your uh, mobile is logged into and then click on done. And then you can decide here whether you're using Twitter for iPhone, Twitter web app, Twitter for Android, or whatever the case may be. Um, I'm using the Twitter web app simply because I use Twitter on, on the web. And here you can decide how many retweets you want, how many quotes you want, how many likes you want. And it's entirely up to you. Let me just go back to white. I, I, don't, I don't do the dark thing. Although apparently it's easy on the eye. And that is how easy it is to generate your, your image. So then to preview your image, simply click on preview image over there and it will show you what it's going to look like. And then click on generate image and there your image has been generated. So then on the web website, on the web, simply click right click, um, save image as, and you can do that and then click on done. And that is how easy it is to generate. And what did I do with it now? Um, where is it? There it is. So that is what the fake tweet looks like. So it looks like a real tweet on Twitter and you can, whoops, that's not what I wanted to have happen. You can literally add anything that you want in there okay let me know how you get on with this i think it's absolutely bloody marvelous that we're able to create these things i have seen them myself before i don't know about you let me know how you get on and if there's anything else that you want to to specifically see a a tutorial about i'm always game i'm always game and in the meantime stay safe be good and I'll catch you on social. Bye.